Hi, I'm Angie. Welcome to RV360 by National Indoor RV Centers, where we have all the details on the latest coaches. NIRVC is a trusted resource with RV lifestyle specialists who are here to help you find your dream coach. NIRVC also supports you well after the sale with storage, service, and detailing. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm so excited to show you the all new 2024 Newmar London Air. Now, it was a lifestyle change for London Air this year, so that means pretty much everything's new. We've got a new front cap, new rear cap, new colors, uh, lots of new features that I'll show you throughout the coach. Today, I'm so grateful to the Johnson family who are already members now of the National Indoor RV Center family who have lent us their coach today so that I could do the video. So thank you. You may see a few little items while we're videoing that are there. So don't worry about that. Also, I want to point out that since they came to National Indoor RV Centers and custom ordered their coach, there's a lot of customized items that they chose. For example, this beautiful color is not one of the four choices that you can choose from from Newmar. They actually did a custom color and there are customizations throughout the coach. So I'll try to point out standard features and optional as I go. Now, once you've watched this whole video, I'm giving you an assignment. You know, you can't watch this whole video and not have an assignment you have to give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. I love to do these reviews. I love to tell you all about the coaches, but I want to get the opportunity to sell you a coach and to make your dreams come true. So make sure you give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. Now, assignment number two is I wanna hear from you in the comments. Make sure you let me know what your favorite thing is that you saw today, uh, or if you have any suggestions for things that you'd like to see in the coach, we would love to hear from you in the comments. So starting at the top of this 13 foot, four inch tall coach, you're gonna see the marker lights and then right in the center, you're gonna see a camera. Now that's gonna to contribute to the 360 bird's eye view when you're in the coach, which I will be excited to show you when we get inside. Then you've got this gorgeous windshield. All right, so this is where the party starts because I always say your trip begins when you get behind the wheel because you've got this gorgeous motion picture movie screen that you get to see the beautiful country with. So big uh, windshield, you'll see that it's automotively mounted. Um, there's not a big molding around that, so it looks very nice. Also, another thing you're gonna notice that you're not seeing any windshield wipers because they're tucked behind the front cap. So again, it just gives it that nice luxurious um, look. Then right in the center there, you'll see that rectangle box. That's gonna be your lane departure, um, lane warning system. So there's a lot of safety features Packed in this coach standard, you're gonna have collision mitigation, adaptive cruise control, uh, electronic stability control, the lane departure, a lot of things to keep you safely driving this coach for a long time. Then look at the gorgeous new front cap. Newmar's giving us a backlit badging here. We've got the London Air little sign on both sides. And then we've got this panel here, which again is your adaptive cruise um, collision mitigation system. The camera's behind there. We've got the extra um, high LED lights that they gave us last year. So just a lot of great features right at the very front of this coach. You also get diamond shield across the front cap of your coach. That's going to protect the beautiful paint job that Newmar gives you. Um, also, one of the things I recommend is just uh, washing off that front cap and your windshield when you get to the resort or campground that you're going to stay at just to get rid of any kind of pesky bugs to protect that. Um, you'll see here we've got our first uh, blind spot monitor for the passenger side of the coach. Just above that we've got the flag pole holder. So that's an optional feature. It's kind of fun if you want to, you know, fly the American flag or your favorite football team, whatever. You can do that right there. Then notice the beautiful chrome exterior mirrors. They are internally controlled. They've got the defrost in them. They also have a camera in them so that when you turn on your blinker, you can see down the full length of each side of the coach. And they've got the turn signal indicator as well. You'll notice here at the door, at the handle, and at the handle here to get into the entry door, you've got the diamond shield around those high um, uh, touch entry points. So that's nice. Again, Numar's just thinking about protecting your paint. And then if you go ahead and fill down the side of the paint, it's just, there's 
hardly any transition so they just do a beautiful job on their paint again this is a custom color that could customer picked out with us at National Indoor RV Centers and then Newmar is willing to do that. Isn't that wonderful? I just love that. So here we've got several ways that we can get into your coach. So you've got the key fob here so you can unlock them, lock the doors there. You also can set your own custom code which I absolutely love. If you've got guests that are going to get to your coach before you will be there, you can give them the code or service technicians. You can allow them in. You also have the doorbell here which is a great feature. I also love that we've got the lit handlebar nice and pretty and then obviously you have the key itself so you can lock it here you can also do the deadbolt is the is the top lock there now one of the things that when I go to show you the coach in fact I'm going to do it right now I want you to watch these steps because they do have one of my favorite steps in the industry um, first of all they look beautiful when it's all closed up because the paint scheme goes along with the rest of the coach but when I open it the steps extend and I can stop them at any point. So if there's a curb there, you saw that there's a sensor here along the bottom and on the um, end of it there. So I can stop those steps. And basically, they'll come almost down to the concrete. So you don't have to heave yourself up on a higher step. It's really nice and one of the features I love on the London Air. The London Air comes with the 365 Michelin tires. So high quality tires. Uh, then we've got the Alcoa Durabrite rims. Now one of the things, let's talk about tires and tire safety. There's probably nothing more important on your coach. Um, at National Indoor RV Centers, we recommend that you don't run your coach over 75 miles per hour just for safety. Uh, also, we recommend a retroband. Um, exclusive product sold by National Indoor RV Centers. It's a run flat device made specifically for RVs and tested. So go check out my video on Retroband. You'll see for yourself. It's a no brainer. Every coach should have it on the front two tires. Around the coach, we have the dual pane tinted safety glass windows. Then we've got the patio awning. We have the Nova Gerard awnings that are come standard on the London Air. I'm gonna go ahead and pull those out right now. So you've got your remote control here, or you can do it from inside the coach. But basically, you're just gonna scan through your channels. And when you get to zero, that's gonna take out both awnings at one time. So I'm gonna go ahead and push it out. Here come our awnings. They do have a shake sensor on them, but as far as awning maintenance goes, I always, always recommend that if you have your awnings out, you're outside enjoying the area. Um, you know, we're in Texas today. You just never know when the weather's going to change. A big wind gust can come along and take those awnings um, pretty quick. So you just want to be aware of the surroundings and make sure you protect them, even though they do have a little sensor on them. Now you can see with them fully extended how you get that extra little pitch to them, which is gonna give you extra coverage in the, in the bright sunlight. And then we can also turn on our LED lights. So we've got lighting here. So it really makes a nice area for you to entertain, to hang out, watch the game, enjoy the outdoors. So here is our 150 gallon diesel fuel tank with dual fill. So you can fill it from the passenger side or the driver's side or from both sides really quickly super nice and then we have our first docking light for the passenger side of the coach first marker light and then we're going to go right into our storage compartments so we have a nice big storage compartments as you can see here on the london air and we have the exterior freezer so we can pull that out and you're going to see that it's going to come way out so that when you do have your slides extended you're still going to be able to get into your, your refrigerator or freezer. You set the temperature so you can make them both a refrigerator if you're having a tailgate party, you just want to have drinks out there, or if you want to deep freeze and you're taking, you know, frozen meats or ice cream across the country, you can put them right in there. And then it just folds right back in. Now, Newmar's also given this extra shelf, which is really nice because it just makes that space usable. And I love that. So nice extra space here above the freezer. Next up is our optional exterior TV. Love that. We've got the nice Samsung TV with the Bose sound bar. And then another bonus here is that it does pop out and you can angle that 
to wherever the sun isn't so you don't have that glare from the sun so that's a huge feature now inside this compartment you've got two 110 outlets and then two usb ports and then you've got the controls so that you can play from your dash radio or you can have the sound coming just from the tv so just about the exterior compartment tv compartment we have the optional kitchen window which you'll be able to see better from the inside and then we've got the vent for the microwave and then also notice that we've got the patio light there by the entry door and then the passenger side security light and also show you the driver side security light on the driver side. And then we have our second camera that's gonna to contribute to that uh, 360 bird's eye view. Notice the beautiful stainless steel trim that we have running along the bottom of our doors. Not only is it pretty, it protects from the road debris that you know comes up and hits your paint. Then we've got our next storage compartment and we've got the soft closed doors. So um, you don't have to slam anymore, which I love. Okay, again here, we've got this shelf with the pull-out tray. Now you can make these trays power or manual, you can pick. Newmark gives you some extra tile in case you ever run into a problem with any um, cracking in your tiles or popping of the tiles. We've got extra, hopefully you never need them, but it's nice that you have them. And I just love the extra shelf. The shelf really makes sense because if you look down here, you can, you can see that's the bottom of the chassis rail. So nothing really is gonna pass beyond that point. It'll be too tall. So that's why that shelf is so important. Our next compartment, again, we've got that extra shelf, which I absolutely love. It makes it so useful. And then we've got the pull-out tray. You can see I've already got some chairs and some of the extra equipment that you need when you have your coach. So very easy to get to with this pass-through tray. It's gonna come out this far on the driver's side as well. While we're down here at the storage compartments, this is a great place to look at and talk about the star foundation that Numar adds to the chassis. So we've got the strong, true, and robust foundation that's gonna give it that extra rigidity to take the beating from the road um, in the chassis, not in the house. Our next storage compartment, again, this is nice. Now this isn't a pass-through tray, but it is a nice big pull-out tray so you can get a lot of contents on there. And then we've got the filter for our central vac here. So we have a lot going on in this compartment. We have the uh, module where all the cameras come to give you, together to give you that 360 view, our slide out controls, our uh, modules that communicate with the silver leaf panels, and then we've got a 110 outlet here and two 110 outlets here. Midship, we've got our second marker light, our second blind spot monitor, and our second docking light. So important, especially when you're pulling into a campground at night, you wanna make sure those are on. And then we have our last storage compartment. Now, on the other side of this is usually your freshwater tank, um, but they give you this space to use, which is really nice to hold all your um, service fluids here. Uh, now, this customer optioned in the extra 110 outlet in this compartment, pegboard so you can hang things, and then just nice shelving so you can store whatever you need to. Also on the London Air, you get the passive steer tag axle, so you're gonna get tighter turning radius. You can tell that you've got the passive steer tag axle just by eyeballing it, because you can look, you've got, I describe it like belly buttons, you've got the Audi here. Audi matches your front axle, which is also an Audi. That gives you the sure sign that you've got the passive steer tag axle and you can make that little bit tighter turn. So you're probably wondering what this is. This is your emergency egress door. Hopefully you, you never need to use it, but you can use it for loading and unloading the coach if you want. I know a lot of customers that use it for that um, so that you can just hand each other your contents for the back rear closet easily through that door. I'll show you how that works when we're on the inside. Right below that, we've got our DEF tank, which is our diesel exhaust fluid. Now, um, little maintenance for diesel exhaust fluid, you wanna make sure that it's um, fresh. Um, it has a shelf life of about a year. It doesn't like sunlight or heat. So just kind of monitor when you're putting that in. You're also gonna have a um, readout at the dash to know uh, how full your tank in tank is as well um, and bad DF can give you some bad engine codes and kind of throw off the coach so again just make sure you monitor that right above your def tank you've got the emergency suspension fill for your airbags um, if you ever needed to be towed this is where you could manually fill the air uh, hopefully again something that you don't need but you've got that extra little 
ability to do that if you need to. And then to the side of it, you've got the little line here where you can bleed off any moisture on your air tanks. So I'd say before every trip, just come out, pull that, make sure you get any moisture out of that system. Our last blind spot monitor for the passenger side of the coach, and then we go into our engine or our battery compartment. So here are our engine batteries right here. Very easy, nice and high, easy to service. Um, we've got our power management system for the rear half of the coach here, and then we have our battery disconnects here. So if we are not lucky enough to have you at a storage customer, at one of our locations, we store at least 300 coaches indoor at all of our locations, always plugged into 50 amp service. Um, valet service is provided. You just give us a call, let us know you wanna pick up your coach. We'll get it out and ready for you. But we, uh, the, big, the big bonus there <laughs> is that you're always plugged into 50 amp service, so you don't have to worry about your batteries dying. If you're storing somewhere where you're not plugged into 50 amp service, you wanna make sure that you have those battery disconnects turned off so you don't have any parasitic draw to your batteries. Then we have the air dryer and the fuel filter water separator. Here at the rear cap of the London Air, notice the beautiful graphics. Again, all new for 2024. If you like, start at the very top, you've got your marker lights and you come down, you've got your high brake light, your camera right there in the center. So again, that's gonna contribute to the 360 bird's eye view beautiful London Air badging. Okay, so we're sitting on the Spartan K3 chassis with a 605 horsepower engine, 19 um, pound foot of torque, which is going to make it feel like it's a breeze to put a stacker trailer behind this coach and you're not gonna have any problem towing whatever you need to tow. Here is the airline for the tow brake. We've got our lights for our tow vehicle, our hitch, and then this customer added the extra camera for the stacker trailer that you can hook in right there. Notice the beautiful mud flap and our engine exhaust. So now let's talk about everything behind the rear cap. So our engine, super important, right? So here we've got our coolant for the engine. Now one of the things, um, make sure you check out my RVing 101 video, especially if you're new to RVing, give you lots of tips and tricks. Um, you never want to fill that coolant when your engine's hot, so just make sure it's cooled. Then we've got our engine oil fill here and our hydraulic oil, engine oil dipstick. Right in the middle, top of the compartment, we've got the engine block heater, so we can turn that on from inside as long as we've got that plugged in. If you need that, you're probably too far north and you need to come further south. Down here we have the hydronic uh, fluid for your Oasis system. Just above that, we've got our transmission fill and dipstick. Right above that, we have our filter, engine air filter reminder. When this gets to the top, you need to make sure you change that filter. Then we have the air cleaner for the engine. So the air, ambient air is gonna come in through the vented area here on the side of your coach, into the air cleaner, and then into your engine. Now to the driver's side, we have our first blind spot monitor for the driver's side and then our side radiator. Side radiator is wonderful, first of all, for the serviceability for your engine compartment. Also gives you better flow of that ambient air into your um, radiator so that your fan doesn't have to work as hard. Then we've got the radiator itself. Now a little maintenance, make sure you check your garden hose, lightly squirt that down after trips to kind of keep that clean so that it's work, um, you know, that your fan doesn't have to work as hard that you can get that fresh air in there. Here is our dual fill for our DEF, so you can do it from the passenger side or the driver's side. Little extra compartment for a stinky slinky if you'd like to put it in there. Um, if you wanna keep one for a gravity dump, it's nice to have it there and away from everything else in your wet bay. We've got the vent for our dryer. And then we've got our marker light, second blind spot monitor, docking light. Now this is your exhaust for your Oasis Hydronic um, heating system, which I'm gonna show you here shortly. But before we get there, look at that gorgeous, beautiful wet bay compartment. Love the stainless steel, love how everything is nicely labeled. Love that they give you this tray here. Um, it can get wet, you can hose that out. There's a drain in there. You've got your um, turbo Santacon system here. You can also do a, dra a gravity dump if you need to. You can hook up your sleeve right here and push it through here. You can thread that through there as well. So you can make sure 
You can still shut your door once you're all hooked up to the sewer system. Again, that's something that you can watch in my RVing 101 um, video. I show you how I set everything up, connect it all, and then disconnect when I'm done with the trip. But let's go through everything in here. So we've got the nice little spot here for our paper towels. Then we've got our information about winterizing the coaches. We can do that for you at National Indoor RV Centers. Or if you're a storage customer, you don't even need to do that. So that's kind of a nice feature as well. Our gray tank rinse and our black tank rinse. This is the water filter for the whole coach. Then you've got your black and gray low point drains here. So here's your um, RV SantaCon on and off switch. Then we've got a display panel that's gonna give us the levels of our tanks. So our fresh tank is 105, our gray tank is 80, and our black tank is 60. You can also check out, turn on your water pump here or your auto fill from here. Turn on your lights in this compartment and your security light just above us. So you can turn that on on the driver's side to give you a little extra light when you're doing your work back here. Um, you can turn your generator on and off from here. And then we've got a new feature, which I absolutely love, which is the tilt. You're gonna tilt the passenger side up, driver's side down, so you have a little bit better flow for your dump system, which is really nice. Then we have our water hose. We can put it through this grommet here. No problem, so you can shut that door. And it's a power rail, which I absolutely love. And our shower, again, beautiful and stainless steel. Just love this compartment. Okay, driver's side security light. We're gonna go fast here, folks, because the weather's not cooperating. Here's our 50 amp sure power cord. You can put it through the grommet there. Our owners have added an extra surge guard protector, which I recommend. You, we can do that for your National Indoor RV Centers, or you can have one at the pole. We've got our surge uh, guard transfer switch in here. Uh, we've got the extra power there, 30 amp power, if you wanna add that as an optional feature. And we have our cable input here. Here is the Oasis hydronic heating system. That's gonna be your on-demand hot water and heat for the coach. I'm gonna quickly show you these storage compartments. They pull out on this side as well. We're gonna beat this rain. <laughs> All right. Another pass through here. So really exciting here. Our owners optioned in the lithium battery. So they got the two 320 amp hour um, lithium battery packs, which comes with the two 3000 watt inverters. So that's a great feature, something you can um, add when you do your custom order with National Indoor RV Centers as well. Our 150 um, gallon diesel fuel tank, fuel fill from the driver's side, marker like docking light, and then our exhaust for our 2000 um, 12.5 generator is here and we can squeegee off our front windshields. We've got our power management system for the front half of the coach, extra fuses here. And then we can go ahead and extend that front cap as long as you're in accessory mode. So I can show you everything. Now again, watch that exhaust. You can see that went right by my leg. If it had been hot, that would be something you definitely want to avoid. So here we have our windshield wiper fluid. Just above that, we have the fuel oil filter for our Oasis system. Then we've got our wussy horn here. Now this is something I absolutely love that Numar um, will add. It's the hot water line to the generator area. So you can hook up a garden hose right here, wash off your front cap and your windshield wiper once you get to the resort. Great feature. Then we've got our 12.5 Onan generator right inside here. You can easily remove this panel so that you can get to the fuel um, dipstick check and then the oil filter here. For serviceability, it's really nice that you can easily get to that. You can also start and stop the generator from here, read the hours. If you happen to trip the breaker, this is where you'll reset it. And then we've got our air horns right here in the front. Again, something you wanna make sure you have on when you're driving this big of a vehicle. Over here on this side, we have the hydraulic reservoir for your hydraulic slides and your hydraulic jacks. All right, so Mother Nature has told us it's time to get inside. Let's go check out the inside. I always notice first thing when I walk into the London Air are the nice grab bars on the right and the left so you can safely enter and exit the coach, super important. 
then right down when you walk in you'll see a red light that's going to be your battery disconnect so if you are leaving the coach want to turn your batteries off you can disconnect them right there and then right next to it is the cargo lock so if you don't have your fob handy or you're at the campground you just want to unlock your storage compartments or lock them then you can you can do that right as you exit or enter the coach then right below that there's a little round circle um, you barely see it in fact you may not notice that it's there that is a reset for your hydraulic steps so for some reason they're not working that's the first place that i would try to push that button reset them and see if the steps will work for you right below that we have our fire extinguisher now that's one fire extinguisher for this whole 45 foot coach not sufficient in my mind so what you need to check out is protang fire suppression system we sell it at national indoor rv centers and if you know us we only sell products that we truly believe in so um, again fire suppression system give us a call today and we can give you a custom quote for your coach now we'll, let's talk about some of the great storage that you get here in the cockpit area. So first of all, notice the beautiful hardwood. We've um, chosen the Bermuda high gloss glaze on these cabinetry. So it looks really pretty, very high end inside this cabinet. And this compartment, we've got the controllers for your patio, patio awning and then your large Gerard awnings there. So that's what's mainly in those compartments, a little room for storage if you need to. And then we've got a compartment here for storage. Our Samsung uh, about 42 inch TV here. And then we've got our control center. So there's a few things, like I mentioned, this is a custom order coach. So the top of this cabinet, we've got in the back a 12 volt, rece 12 volt receptacle. That was optioned in by the customer. That's not a standard. And then we've got the Wi-Fi Ranger and then we can see that it has been prepped for solar. So if you want to add solar to this coach, it's already pre-wired for that. And then we've got two 110 over here. And then next to that, we've got the HWH. So that's your hydraulic system for your slides, for your front entry step. That's the master reset switch. So again, if something's not working, slides are not coming in, steps aren't coming in, you can try that button right there. So then we've got our over the air, uh, satellite so you can just push that you'll lock onto local stations here and then we've got our controller for the Gerard awnings and your lights so you can do everything that I did from the little remote outside you can do here on this panel so you can pick which channel that's going to bring out your front and your back Gerard awning together and then your front and your back and you've got your patio awning and you just put them in and out. You've got your lights there. You can lock it as well. Then move, moving over here, we've got our driver's slide out. So that is our full wall slide out. Then we have the passenger slide out, our exterior LED lights, our exterior entry step, the Wi-Fi router, and then the optional satellite, which we don't have here. The um, driver's side window awning and the passenger side window awning and then these are your security lights, driver and passenger, your driver uh, privacy drape, front privacy drape, door privacy drape, and your passenger privacy drape. Now this is a remote, this is a button where your technician from National Indoor RV Centers can plug in to run diagnostics on your coach. And then right above this, um, this coach was optioned in with the lithium batteries. So this is a little bit of an override switch. The lithium batteries don't like to go to zero. So they protect themselves. When they get to 10%, they will shut off. For some reason, if you need to use part of that 10% remaining battery life, you can override it with this button right here. I don't recommend it. You wanna make sure you never take your lithium batteries to zero. Welcome to the beautiful interior of the 4551. So you have five floor plans that you can choose from. This is the 4551. Again, this is all new for 2024. So you're gonna notice new ceiling treatment, new fascia, new um, hardware, new countertop edge, like lots of new things. And then, like I said before, a custom order coach. So we have some unique things because we have the beautiful King Air floor that the customer custom ordered in this coach so just looks fabulous with paired with a nice dark wood 
It's so beautiful. And then this is the Balboa interior package. So they've optioned in the theater seating, which is very popular. When you do that, you get the trifold love seat with the uh, hide bed across from it. And then they optioned in the powered extended booth. So that's exciting for me to show you because that's not um, an option we see all the time, but it's probably the biggest and best booth that I've seen in the industry. So I'll be excited to demo that for you. So I've turned around the captain's and the co-captain's chair. I can sit here. What I really love about this is now I can sit back, I can recline, throw the footrest up, and I've got another recliner here that I can watch my big screen TV from. So now to sit down and enjoy the comfy theater seats. I'm telling you, they are so comfortable and all powered too. So you can easily recline back. You don't have to monkey with any handles. And I'm telling you now, I just have to try to stay awake. <laughs> Cause all right, I'm gonna go, this is as far as I go. So basically this could be my bed. I'd have no problem with this being the bed. You can also light up your cup holders. And then we've also got the charger right here in our cup holder, our USB charging port. So that's really nice. And check out that storage. So I love that you've got a tray that you can move here. Really nice, big, deep storage compartment. So you could put some throws in there. You've got a little tray here. You can put your remotes in there. I love that you can tuck everything away and make it nice and neat. Then to the left of me here, I've got my first multiplex panel. There's several throughout the coach. So kind of on each, on the passenger side and the driver's side in each room, you're gonna have panels and you can do a lot of the functions that you need for the coach right here. So here we are at the home menu. So we've got all the different functions here, lighting, shades, fans, systems, the monitor panel and the display brightness. Now, if we have questions and we want to know how any of these buttons function, we can hit the I and then basically we're going to get a operating instructions on that page. So that just makes it really easy to learn. You know, if you have questions about any of these things, you can go to that operating instruction page. Now we're back at our lighting button. So here you can see that I can turn on the lights of the ceiling, the dinette, overhead. You all can read those and I can make them dimmable if I want, or I can bring them all the way to the brightness. I can turn them on and off from here, really easy. Then we've got our shades. So I love this button because you can take all your day shades up, all your night shades. These are your uh, forward shades, your back shades, and then your kitchen and living room shades. So the different sections, and you, you can put them the days all up or the nights all down, vice versa. Your fans, you've got three fans. So one in the kitchen, the master bathroom, and the half bath or stool room. So you can override the rain sensor if you need to. If it's you know lightly raining and you still want that fan to go up, you can override it. And then you've got the fan speeds of high, medium, and low. Then we have our system. So here we can turn on our water pump. We can put the TV up and the TV down. I'm gonna go ahead and put the TV up. It's straight across from me. You just touch the button and hold until the TV is all the way extended. Now you can see the 50 inch Samsung 4K LED smart TV. So great viewing in this area. Then we have our monitor panel. This is where we can read the level of our house batteries what kind of power we're plugged into, and the levels of our tanks. Then we have display brightness. We can change that high or low or turn it all the way off if we want to. Then right behind me here, I've got two 110 outlets and two USB charging ports. Also notice the huge windows. Now this is something that's unique. Again, the customer that ordered this coach didn't want to have the overhead cabinets. So if you want that big bus-like fill with the big windows, that's an option that you can have here. So there's no overhead cabinets you'll notice on this section. Also notice the new um, balances for the window, the new accent lighting, and we have another panel here. Uh, like I said, they're throughout the coach in each section so that anyone can, you know, 
control the lights and the shades um, from wherever you're sitting. Okay. All right, so here we have one more, another light panel, multiplex lighting panel. Above that, we've got our um, JBL speakers. We've got those on both sides of the coach, and then we have our first thermistor for the coach. So that is what communicates with the thermostat to keep the temperature nice and pleasant in here. Just below that, we have two 110 outlets and two USB charging ports. And then in our little nightstand table or a side table here for the sofa, we've got some storage there, which is really nice. You always can use extra storage. Now here behind the love seat, we've got the two 110 outlets and USB charging ports on both sides of the love seat. Um, beautiful accent lighting again, and another panel our 50 inch Samsung TV and then above that we've got nice storage here our AV compartment here so this is where you can plug in your satellite you've got two extra 110 outlets um, you've got your HDMI cables here so if you want to hook up a um, DVR or gaming system you could do that right there your Bose soundbar above and more storage. So now we've got guests in town. We've got friends that are sleeping over. So we're gonna go ahead and make the bed. It's super easy. These just Velcro off. I like the Velcro because it helps them stay in place so you're not constantly adjusting them. And then the key to the trifold sofa to making it work is this little strap back here that unlocks it. So you gotta pull this strap here, lift, and it pulls out nice and easy. Then you're gonna go ahead and drop down the back. And there you go. It's as easy as that. Throw some sheets on, put the pillows on, you've got a great little spot for your guests. So here is the power extended booth. I love this. It's very comfy and it's nice and big. And I love the fact that it's powered. Did I say that it was powered? I think three times now. So we're just going to easily power this out. Okay, it's literally that easy. Then you just bring in your extra cushion, put it in place. And there you go. Now I want to extend the table, the dinette as well. And I do think that Newmore has the best design as far as our table goes because our extra leg is tucked into the dinette. So if there's a magnet, you just push it down here and you've got a nice sturdy table. While I've got this open, I want to show you the cabinet that's behind the booth here. So you can add just one leaf or you can put both in and they just fit nicely together. Nice and secure. Also notice again, you've got that big window. Inside the window valance on both sides, you've got two 110 outlets and two USB charging ports. So you can pretty much charge your device anywhere you want in this coach. So now I've extended the table, both sides of the booth. I think you could get three across here four very comfortable no problem so you're going to be able to have your thanksgiving dinner play your card games this is kind of breaking every coach rule because you know you're supposed to drink six feed four and sleep two this coach can obviously do multiples of all of those things so now to the lovely kitchen of the 4551 first of all beautiful counter space here We've optioned in the extra window, so that brings in even more natural light, and I just love it, makes it feel nice and big. And we have the additional counter space here with the pull-out shelves, and then look at those nice, big, full extension drawers that we get. So lots of storage there, plus the extra prep space, which I love. Another big drawer here for all your utensils. Right now we're storing all of our remotes. <laughs> so I'm gonna let you keep those all straight. A few other nice things that are in here. Newmar gives you um, some touch-up paint for the exterior of your coach, which is great. Um, this is that little flagpole holder that was outside. So you just merely, I don't wanna take it out. New owners have it in there. That just sticks in there and then you can put the pole right through here. 
We've got the Gerard controls. We've got the filter change for your, um, the full water filter for your wet bay here. So lots of things in this drawer and I just love how much space they give you there. Right below the nice big drawer, we have the optional dishwasher. So nice and big, this is great. Again, this is an optional item. So if it's something that you're not gonna use, don't add it. You can have a nice big drawer there, but I know a lot of my, our customers expect that dishwasher and like it. Um, and even those that don't use it will use it for storage <laughs> just to have it. So that's nice. Then above that, so notice the beautiful countertop, new edging for 2024. We have our induction cooktop. So you just need to have um, pans that a magnet will attach to the bottom, then they'll work on this. It's wonderful, this is also removable. So if you wanna take it outside, say you're cooking fish or bacon, or just something that's a little bit spicy, you might wanna take it outside and cook it, you can easily do that. Just unplug it, walk it outside, plug it in outside, put it on the picnic table, you're good to go. Right above that, we've got our microwave convection oven and then storage with adjustable shelves. We've got a nice little spot here for spices and then a big storage here with the pull-out shelf, pull-out tray and adjustable shelves and more storage and again adjustable shelves. So also on the backs of our cover for the induction cooktop, you've got a cutting board. So that's really nice and handy. If you're not using it as a cooktop, you can turn those over, have a nice cutting board right there. And then if you want to store them away, you can just tuck them back here, right into the groove there. So they're not gonna move around while you're traveling. And then we have the two pullouts below Plenty of space for your waste can here. Extra whole space behind that. And another pull-out tray. So lots of room. Right above that, we've got the pull-down so you can put your sponges and your brushes in there. And then I do love this for spices. Again, I think that's a great little drawer for spices. Another drawer that's great for spices. You can label the tops of them and have them in there. And then more storage. So Numar has given us beautiful residential faucets that tie in nicely with the hardware. And then we have the Blanco dark sink, full sink, nice and big. So I love that. Now you notice the beautiful lighting, beautiful backsplash, another control panel here. And then we've got two 110 outlets, one right there and another two 110 outlet here. Next up, we have the Whirlpool refrigerator freezer with water in the door. I do love that. This is a nice residential refrigerator, nice and big with all the pull-out trays and shelves and freezer, ice maker, nice deep storage there. And then of course, the travel lock. So super easy to use. Now the refrigerator or the freezer are not gonna come open and ruin a trip because it truly will. <laughs> Just beyond the refrigerator, we have the great pantry that you get in the 4551 floor plan with the pull-out shelves. Look how big those shelves are. So nice and big. And they're locking shelves. So you just gently push in and then pull out and then full extension pull out. And then below here, they've given us space. Now we can take these dividers out and make that space, whatever we need it to be. But if you've got um, cookie trays, pans, whatever, you can fit them all nicely in there. So now to the silver leaf display. This will basically control almost everything on the coach. It's super easy. So they've given us the big panel here in the center mid coach. And then you also have one in your um, master bedroom. So I just love this. I'm gonna walk you through it and give you the basic uh, overview of this panel. So here at the home page, we have the date, temperature, and time. We've got our home button selected. You can see the tank levels right now. Fresh tank, 31%, black nine, and gray, 6%. Our house batteries are 99% charged. Chassis battery is 13.5 to six, and they are bridged together. 
Then we've got, we are plugged into shore power and then it shows you what amps we're bringing in on each leg. AC power again is letting us know that we're plugged into shore power. Our inverters are in standby mode. Our batteries are fully charged and in float mode right now. This is our generator button so we can start and stop our generator from here. And um, we can also do our auto gen start settings. So we can go into that and then we can see the triggers that are set. Um, so once it's below 30% state of charge, it's going to charge. We can adjust those, what we want the top off to be, the run time to be, quiet time to start and quiet time to end. And then you've got the triggers here as well. So you can customize all of these features and then go back. Your water, again, you're gonna get your tank levels. Your water pump, you can turn it on and off from here and you can do your auto fill from here as well, on and off and you can top it off. Then we have our temperature settings for each section of the coach, our cold and our hot. We can easily raise and lower them here. Or we can touch the cold or the hot buttons. We can turn on the oasis here, the burner. Um, if you wanna have hot water immediately, you're gonna turn your burner on. Say you wanna take a shower, you definitely have your burner on. If you're just gonna be washing your hands, you can just have your electric on. Then we've got our block heater. As long as that's plugged into the back in the engine compartment, you can turn it on and off from here. Your batteries, we're gonna see the state of charge. So again, we've got the lithium batteries, so they are fully charged right now. So there's also an app for the lithionic battery system that's gonna show you the state of charge as well. So you can pull that up on your phone and get more detailed information about your lithium batteries from there. And you can see that little heartbeat, it's almost a little flashing green light let you know they're working. One of the things that's really nice with the lithium with the lithium battery option is you get twice the amp hours than you get with your regular AGM. And then you can also add a third battery, lithium, um, lithium battery pack, that would take you up to 960 amp hours. Then we have coach mode. So this are, these are just presets for how you're camping. So active camping, outdoor unplugged, outdoor plugged in, that's what we are. And then those are preset um, buttons. Floor heat, so you can turn on your floor heat. The floor heat is electric, so it is very even and warms up pretty quickly. So you can turn on the front section, the mid section of the coach and the rear section of the coach. Then you've got your light panel here. So you can pick a room that you want to control the lights on and then you can do all of these, you know, turn on these different lights and then when you get to that reading light, you can go ahead and turn it on um, or you can turn it off from here. So let's go to the bedroom. We were in the master bedroom. Let's say we want the reading light on. That one's already on, so they're on. The dresser light, we want that on and we want the bedroom ceiling. We want all the lights on. I also love this button because you've got the courtesy lights. You can turn them on and off from here. All lights on, all lights off. So as you're exiting the coach, it's really quick and easy to hit that all lights off button and and leave. We've got our half bath, our, our master bath, half bath, and then exterior lights. So we can control those uh, driver security lights and passenger security lights from in here. Then we've got our shades. So again, we can select which area we wanna control the shades on. And then those are the buttons for your day shades and your night shades. And your TV lift up and your TV lift down. Door locks, here you can lock and unlock your entry door and your cargo doors. And then you can control your fans. And then we've got our settings button. This is where you can really do a deeper dive into more of the systems and settings in the coach. The second thermistor for the midship of the coach. And then we're gonna go into our half bathroom here. I did wanna point out the hardware that is nice and flat for this um, door. So when you're walking through the coach, especially when the slides are in, which I will show you in just a little bit, um, you're not gonna hook your pants or your jacket on that. 
it's just a nice little feature for the pivot door. So as we walk into the coach, you're gonna see straight ahead, we've got the beautiful mirror here that's backlit. And then that's our medicine cabinet too, which I absolutely love when they give us that useful space behind there. Two 110 outlets. We've got nice shelves here. And then we've got the little pop-up outlet below. So you can just push that away when you don't need it. And then when you do, just pops right out. I love the backsplash the solid surface countertop. Again, the beautiful residential faucet, towel bar here. And then we've got our ceramic toilet and storage to the side of that. And a nice little drawer, push button controls. And here we've got our dustpan. So we just lift that up to suck all the dirt away. And then we've got the attachment for our central back here. And then right below the sink, we have a nice big storage compartment and a spot for our toilet paper. Now above the commode, we've got a big cabinet. It's got our breakers. It's got fuses in here. It's all nicely labeled. Newmark kindly gives you those extra fuses. They're right here where they need to be. Um, so they're not rolling around in some plastic bag somewhere. I do love that and everything's just so nicely labeled so you know exactly what you are needing to find in there. And then we've got our multiplex sliding panel here for the bathroom. Here we have the fantastic fan for the half bath, nicely covered there in the pretty wood, plus a nice big window for the bathroom as well. Again, when you're in a smaller space, that window just makes it feel like a lot bigger and brighter. Now to the beautiful master bedroom of the 4551. I wanted to know that you've got the lockout drawers here so you can easily give yourself that privacy that you need if you want to shut off the bedroom for the rest of the coach. And then they just lock nicely back into place. Now on both sides of the bed, we have nightstands. We've got a little storage compartment under each nightstand. Plus you've got two 110 and two USB charging ports inside the nightstand. Then here we've got the thermistor for the master bedroom. Then we've got the beautiful fascia. Again, that's all new for 2024. And a cool thing that I found, um, because I thought, how are you gonna clean behind that? You know, you have to think about these things. Well, they just pop right out. So super easy to clean behind there in case it gets a little dusty. Not gonna be a problem and you're gonna keep your coach nice and beautiful. Then we have the new headboard for 2024. Windows on either side so you've got a little cross breeze if you wanna open up your windows and have fresh air. And then we've got this great storage. Before I get to storage, I wanna make sure that underneath here we have another multiplex lighting panel um, to control your lights, your shades, basically everything I showed you at the first panel there, all lights off. Um, and then you've got your controls for your speakers in the room that you can turn those on and off. Then we have great storage. And then inside this cabinet, you'll see that we have two 110 outlets, plus there's a port there on either side where we can pull a cord through if we need to. If you wanted to put a CPAP machine up there or something else, you could easily put those cords through. And then here's our last compartment. Again, all of that, there's no divider, so you can get a lot of goods up there. So now we've got great storage underneath the mattress. You can see the current owners have a lot of their items in here, which I actually like because you can see how much you can get in here. Um, plus you've got your extra uh, leaves for the table, your central vacuum kit, but just lots of space under there. Now, I don't want to leave out the mattress because it is really special. It's nice and comfy. So you can see there's a nice memory foam mattress here and then you've got the air bladder below that. So you're going to have a nice bed to sleep on and then you can set the air mattress to whatever your liking is for both sides of the bed. So if you don't like the same you know, firmness as your partner, you can just select it and make it exactly the way you love it. So this isn't gonna look like your normal London Air um, bedroom setup because the customer optioned in the Essex setup here. So totally different, nice big long window here, cabinets up top. We've got great storage in here. Plus this is our AV shelf. So we've got three 110 available outlets plus our cable input, HDMI cords. So if you wanna add again that 
DVR gaming system, you can do that here. We've got the slide out control for the slide, um, the bedroom slide, which is the passenger side of this, because this is our full wall slide right here. Then we can extend and retract our bedroom awning. So it's gonna be an awning off this big window here in the bedroom. So we can do that here. Then we have another silver leaf control panel. This is great um, to have in the bedroom. So say that you've got guests here, um, you've got someone sleeping in the bedroom, but they wanna con control some of those functions rather than having to go out into the living room kitchen area. They can do everything that I showed on the panel um, from the midship of the coach right here. Then you'll notice a nice solid surface countertop and look at all the storage. So that is the great thing about Numar is that one size doesn't fit all. So they chose to do a little bit different setup than um, you typically get in a London Air and we can help walk you through that at National Indoor RV Centers. Then you've got your nice big Samsung TV and another big compartment here with adjustable shelves. And then just inside the window here, we have another 110 outlet, two 110 outlets, and two USB charging ports. Make sure you notice the beautiful ceiling treatment in the master bedroom. And right here we have the carbon monoxide detector, and then also we've got our speakers there on both sides of the bed. As I walk into the master bathroom, I want to point out that we have another privacy door with a full length mirror on it. So if you want to see that full view of your outfit, you can just shut that door. Also, you've got the mirror in the closet as well. Then to my right, I've got the Splendid washer and dryer. Love having that. Um, if you ever walk into your coach and there's a really bad smell, you think that something's gone wrong with your black tank, I'm guessing it's probably the pee trap in your, um, from your washing machine. So all you have to do is get a gallon of water, pour it into the washing machine, put it on rinse, and that smell is gonna go away. And we also get a nice little drawer here underneath the washing machine so you can put your dryer sheets, um, you name it, your, your pods for your, your washing machine. I'm sure you'll find, figure out what to put there. Then look at this ginormous shower. Like, yep, this is the coach, folks. You get a 34 by 50 inch shower. You've got the two towel bars here and another towel hook right here. I love that. And then we've got our lock here for the shower door. This is great. You need to have a checklist before you go on any trip um, of things that you need to do before you depart. I've got one. I'm happy to share it with you. Just email me at Angie at NIRVC. Dot com. I'll be happy to share it with you. It's the quickest way to ruin a trip if you leave the refrigerator unlocked, if you don't check this, if you don't unplug your shore power cord. Lots of little things that if you get out of your routine, you may make a mistake and we want to eliminate the chance of mistakes. So just email me for my list if you don't already have one started. So now I'm going to head into the beautiful shower. So this is all new for 2024 as well. New tile, new backsplash. I love the soap dispensers. We've got the flip down seat. So if you want to sit down, shave your legs, easily do that if you need to shower or you can just pop that right back up so you've got extra space. I love that we have the fixed faucet here and then we've got the handheld wand. You can also add this shower assist handle. Um, usually an option I typically put in the coach just because you never know something happens, you break your leg, you break your foot, or you just need that little extra assistance, it's nice to have there. Now, another feature that I absolutely love, and you will too, <laughs> is the shower miser. So for the shower miser, this is your little indicator light. So when this lights up, that means the water's warm. So here's the valve for the um, shower miser. So you can see right here, the little arrows that shows you it's recirculating. So when you want the to warm the water. So this is gonna save you from needlessly running your water to get it warm. Um, so you're not you're gonna waste less water and then you're gonna waste less water going into your gray tank. And that's really the big thing that you wanna watch out for. So you'll come into the shower, you'll turn the knob over here so it's recirculating and warming. Then when you're ready to hop in the shower, you're just gonna put it over here. You'll see that's where the water's coming out. Then you're gonna have nice hot water coming out instantly. You're going to love it. Then you've got the 
um, little control here whether you want the waterfall or if you want the handheld and then they've also given you a shelf here and a shelf below here I love really nicely thought out shower so next up is our toilet ceramic toilet with push button controls we have the toilet paper holder thermistor for the bathroom here also note that we've got the cathedral ceiling in here which makes this feel bigger or taller I love that and then here is our emergency egress door. So to make this work, I'm not gonna do the full demonstration because it's raining outside today, but you're going to unlock it from here, unlock it there. Now, this panel below here actually comes right off. It's magnetized on there and then the telescoping ladder would fall down. So I would just open this remove that panel, telescope the ladder down, and then you can easily get in and out of your coach. Again, just wanna keep everything nice and dry for our owners. Next up is the nice big master bathroom closet. So you can see that you have full access to the full rear closet, which I love. Over here to the right, we have the adjustable shelves, and then we have the safe. Then we've got a spot here for our shoe storage, and then we have a bar, a wardrobe bar, bar all the way across, and the light that comes on automatically when you open those doors. And then here you've got access to the second half of the closet, plus a double bar here in the back. Check out this beautiful vanity with the cool um, sinks up top, the backlit mirror. It's all just very beautiful, very residential, beautiful backsplash. Then we have our medicine cabinet with adjustable shelves two 110 outlets there in the back another spot for a towel holder another two outlets here nice big huge space underneath the sinks two more 110 outlets and then all this drawer space so nice full extension drawers all the way down same on the bottom so plenty of space for all of your goods. Then a lot of people are gonna think right here is going to be another medicine cabinet. On this floor plan, it's actually access um, to your the outlets for your washer and dryer and your um, water there so you can get to those. And then you've got another towel bar here. I always like to show the coach with the slides in so that you can see that you can easily get to your master bed. Um, you could even sleep in the bed if you could just use the uh, midship bath. I love the pivot door on the midship bath. You can easily get in and out with your slides fully in. And you can fully get to your pantry, refrigerator, freezer, sink, booth area. You can sit there and lounge there and you can also enjoy the theater seating while you're going down the road with a nice pathway to the driver's seats. Almost to the fun part, we're in the cockpit now. So once we go through this and we get to our driving. So first thing, just wanna tell you how comfy these chairs are, like extremely comfortable. You've got the controls here for the armrest so that you can put them right where they are comfortable for you. We've got the integrated seat belt into the seat and then we've got controls here for the seat so forward and forward and back and then you can lower the front and the back so really you can get it just perfect for yourself then we've got the backrest control here so you can move that forward and back and then this is going to be control for your footrest when you've got it turned around into the living room so on the left side, we've got a lever that you just pull up that allows you to swivel the chair into the living room. And then right next to that, you've got your heating control for the heated seats. Love that feature. And then we've got the lumbar support control. To the left of the chair, we have a nice big pocket for miscellaneous items. If you still like to carry a map, that's a great place for it. We've got um, auxiliary inputs, say like a headphone jack and USB charging port. And then you've got the uh, USB-C and USB, another charging point, and for your Apple CarPlay. Then we've got our HWH computer leveling system. So this just makes it super easy when you can auto level here. Right now we're in travel mode, so you just wanna make sure your park brake is set. 
you can hit the auto level. When you have four red dots, that means you're level. If for some reason you can't level, it's going to give you an excessive slope red light here. So you're gonna to have to maybe move your coach just a little bit, adjust, and then try again. Once you've tried twice, I would leave it at that and maybe give yourself 20 minutes. You don't want to um, heat up that pump too much, going up and down, trying over and over again. So two tries, give it a rest and try again if you're still not being successful at leveling. When you're ready to leave, you're gonna to go to auto store and jacks will raise up and it will put you back in travel mode. When it's that green light's on, you know that you are good to go. Next is the Allison transmission. So you've got reverse, neutral, and drive. Then you've got your economy mode you can go into right here. When you press the, um, so these are the buttons where you can manually shift if you need to. So say you're going up a steep hill and you wanna shift down, you can do that right here. Um, another thing that you can do is to press them both together and it's going to give you engine diagnostics. So your oil temp, oil life, filter, trans health, no codes, and you can just flip through those, which is really nice to have that right there at your fingertips. And just above that, we've got our tag dump. Um, now, I always keep mine on auto. The only time that you would probably need to use that is say you're on grass, it's slippery, it's wet, it's soggy, and you wanna take some of that weight off your um, tag and put it back on your rear axle so you have more traction, you may do that there. But you've got the nice um, passive steer here so you should be able to you know, make a nice turn. If you've got a really, really sharp turn, then you may dump your tag there for that as well. Our engine brake on and off. So you just turn that on and then select your level, high, medium, or low. Cup holders, which is great. So new for 2024, we have the charging, wireless charging pad, which I'm always a big fan of. You don't have to have that cord with you all the time. We've got our parking brake, so you pull to apply and push to release. We've got the controls for your exterior mirrors and the defrost for your exterior mirrors. Your auto headlights are here, and then you've got your, if you just wanna have your headlights on, you just turn them on here or your marker lights or off and then your fog lights. Then we've got the bright and dim. This will brighten or dim all of the switches and the cup holder, our NIRVC blue cup holder. And then our dome lights are the lights that are right overhead the driver. And then we have the auto high beams, which I absolutely love. So you're gonna have your lights on here. You're gonna have your auto high beams. So you're gonna have your auto lights on your auto high beams are gonna automatically go to high beam if there's not a car coming directly at you so you can have better visibility at night. Um, if a car comes towards you, they'll automatically go back to your regular headlights. You can turn it off too if you need to. So you can just cancel that feature if for some reason you don't want it. And we've got our ATC override button, our power window button, and our air horn button. So again, I'm always gonna make sure that air horn is on. Then up here, this is gonna be a new dial for a lot of you, because this is an optional feature. This is the Kurt Spectrum Brake Control. So that was an optional added item. Um, this is for when you're towing something extra heavy. So this green button here is the Deutsch plug. Again, this is where National Indoor RV Center's technicians can plug into your coach to read diagnostics. And then we've got the control here for you to adjust the steering column. So this is where you're going to turn on your cruise control. So you can turn it on there and then push in to set. A little secret, if you are impatient like I am and you're getting ready to leave in the morning and you want to um, air up your coach quicker, you can go ahead, turn your cruise control, hit the set button, and you're gonna see your RPMs raise and help um, air up your coach quicker. Then we've got our turn signals, obviously. So right below the lever here, we've got this silver um, lever, and this is your hazard light. So you just pull it out to turn your hazards on. To turn them off, you need to um, put your turn signal on either way, and then it will turn off. Now to all the functionality here on the steering column itself, which is very nice and comfortable to hold. We can answer or hang up a call once we Bluetooth in to the coach. 
Then we've got our windshield wiper fluid. We've got our windshield wipers. We can turn them on just low, one click. If you want high, click again. And then we can turn them off here. If you want to customize the windshield wipers, you can hit the button here. Count 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. Hit it again. Now it's going to go every three seconds. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. And then you can turn that off. We're going to have our air horn in the center here since we've got the air horn turned on. Then we've got our lights that we can flash, our headlights, and we can flash our marker lights. So if you've got a coach that's, um, let's say a big semi truck has passed you, you want to let them know that it's safe to come into the lane, you can just flash your headlights once. If a semi has done the same for you, if you've passed him and he's letting you know it's safe to come back into your lane, then you'll just hit this three times to say, to say thank you. So you've got the source button to change your audio source, your volume controls, your play and pause, your mute, and then your seek and find. So then we have all the controls for the information on your dash. So just go to your home button and then you can scroll through the different information. So you've got your air leveling here, your brightness controls for the dash, messages, we have none, go into settings, click in there, and then scroll up to the top and go to my TPMS. Lock in here because now I can see my coach on the display here, see my tire pressure and my temperature. Um, if I want to set up a tow vehicle, I will click into tow vehicle and then I want to do a TPMS configuration. Click in there, click into tow fig, and then I can now go to um, tow type. Click in here, and now I can scroll through different options of what I'm going to be towing. And then I can go back to my settings. You've got your sound, so just the noise, the alerts from um, your dash, you can change the sound setting there, your units Celsius, Celsius or Fahrenheit, comfort drive, so you can click in here, this is your computer aided driving assist, you can adjust that easily, and I'm going to show you a little trick and how you can do it even easier in a minute, um, but you can do that right here while you're driving, and then service information, diagnostics, configuration trip information, um, information here, you can lock in here and then you can scroll through different information right there at your dash. TPMS, again, just your temperature and your tire pressure and your adaptive cruise control. So if you wanna change this, click in. If you wanna make that shorter or longer or disable it all together, you can do that right there. So here's a really cool button now that we've got Comfort Drive at our fingertips. So you don't have to go through the menu here on the home button. You can just click it right there and adjust it up and down as necessary. And then you've got your pedal controls so that you can make those comfortable in the right position that it's easy for you. So now for the keyless um, ignition, you want to have the keys in a reasonably close distance or they won't recognize it. Just press it once and it will go into accessory mode. Press it again and it will go into ignition. Just put your foot on the brake and then press again. You get the green light. It's going to start the engine. And then to stop it, you're merely just going to put your foot on the brake and hold the button in and it will stop. You can also do it without putting your foot on the brake, but it's quicker with your foot on the brake. Now we have our nice big displays here. I'm gonna to go to the menu here. So I got my main menu, radio controls, media center, XM radio, Bluetooth, HDMI, our auxiliary inputs, camera control, navigation. So we've got two options for navigation, Apple CarPlay or the Nav and Go system, which comes with the coach, mobile eye and our setup menu. So I'm gonna go through a few of these, like our camera control. This one's really important. Now remember, it's raining outside, so we're not getting a clear camera because we've got water on our camera lenses. But this is my favorite button right there. That's where I can see 
360 view of the coach. I can do this when I'm driving and really feel secure about what's around me. But I can also go to different rear camera views, my side cameras, Again, we're not getting a great shot here because the slides are out, we're not driving, but the camera is really nice on this coach. Then go back to menu. We've got our nav and go here. So we can put in our information there or we can use the Apple CarPlay Android Auto. And then we can go to our setup menu. Um, different things that we can customize here and set up if you'd like. Then we can go into house mode here and that enables us to play the dash radio outside without the coach being on. Then we have our battery boost. So this is super important. This is when you can bring your house battery and your chassis batteries together to give you enough power to start the coach or either start the generator. We've got our um, heavy tow button. We can have that on or off. So if we've got a heavy load, we're gonna wanna have that on. Our front fan. Um, high or low or off, our overhead fans, and then we can set them to high, medium, or low, our docking lights, courtesy lights, start the generator from here, we can lock or unlock the entry door, and then we have our visor controls and our shade controls, HVAC controls here to the uh, level, the cold or hot, and then where we want that flow directed. Great little storage compartments here. So here in the passenger seat, just as comfy as the captain's seat with the same controls. And we also have a little bonus. We have a little, you know, what I would have called the TV tree as a kid. Um, you have this while you're driving down the road if you want to put your laptop or your iPad on here. Nice little workspace while you're driving down the road. Um, if you don't need it, then you can just fold that right back and it's out of your way. Over to the right, I've got the extra passenger monitor, which is really nice. So now I can control all the things that I just showed you over at the dash, the radio, media center, XM, radio, Bluetooth, HDMI, camera control. I love that so I can switch the cameras. I can also go to the navigation, input the destination um, really nice quick buttons down below um, just nice that the the passenger can help the driver out by navigating from their screen here now just beyond the screen we've got the light for the patio which is outside my visor light and then the step cover so once I'm in travel mode I want to go ahead and extend that step cover so that no one falls in the stairwell it's nice and sturdy and then when we're done traveling, I just bring that back. Our ceiling lights and then the map light, which is directly above me. And I've got a nice cup holder here, wireless charging pad. And then again, I've also got the 110 outlets and the USB charging ports behind me. All right, so we're ready to hit the road in the London air. I think you're going to love it. If you want to know what it feels like to drive one of these yourself, you've got to come out to National Indoor V Center. Just give it a try. Don't be intimidated. They are huge, but guess what? They fit in the lane. Um, go slow. Take your time. Um, you've got to just figure out your turning point, too. That's the most important. Your turning point is at the center of your front axle, so it's actually behind me. So you're going to pull out your nose a little bit further than you're comfortable with initially and then you start to make that turn. Watch your mirrors, so you're saving grace. Um, if you see that you're gonna get too close to a curb, slow down and you can adjust and you have time to, to fix it. So really, you're bigger than everyone out there. Take your time, enjoy the journey, and don't rush. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so now we're on the road and no fear, you fit in the lane. <laughs> um, you just want to hug the left side of the lane that you're traveling in. Um, don't always stay in the left lane, but you want to hug that left lane. Um, everything bad happens on the right. Road debris, um, the camper of the road, street signs, tree branches. Those branches can be super expensive. And if you do happen to get a little boo-boo, make sure your first call is National Indoor RV Centers, our paint and body crew, uh, they're artists. 
they can make your coach better than it was new. That's another thing you can do with us as well is ceramic coating. Um, that will protect your coat, um, your paint, and um, I've got a video out there on that too. So you may want to watch that just to kind of educate yourself on it um, and then call us for pricing. Now I talked about the safety features that are built into this coach. So you have the lane departure system. If I verify my lane, which I'll do here in a second just to show you, um, then you've got electronic stability control. I'm, I was looking to demonstrate that here shortly. I'm going up on an overpass with a slight turn to it. That's gonna keep you from worrying about that, any extra sway. And then you've got uh, adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation, lots of things to keep you safe while you're driving. All right, so we're gonna head up here and get on the freeway. And that's where the fun really begins. I'll set my cruise control. Then you just let the coach do the work the adaptive cruise control. It's going to adjust its following distance based on the car in front of me, keep me at a safe distance, um, and really just make it really enjoyable to drive because I don't have to worry about constantly checking the speed. So if you've watched my videos before, you know that I always do the decibel reader. So 65.6, and this is a little bit noisier than normal just because we've got um, a little bit of bad weather, the rain and the, the water from the, the road. Um, still super quiet and have a nice conversation with my passenger um, and not have to raise my voice. So I just tried to, I just veered out of my lane on purpose to show you that um, the lane departure sy um, system will give me an audible alarm plus a haptic fill in my seat. Again, just those extra things to keep me safe while I'm driving. So you can also see that I've got the blind spot monitor and the lane detection going off. I need to pay attention. <laughs> so another feature that I love with Numar is Comfort Drive. They've had it forever. It's basically an adaptive steering, um, kind of a computer aided driving assist that helps you if there's a strong wind or camber to the road. And I can go into my um, home here into my settings and click in and I can adjust that while I'm driving. Now, I typically like to have um, a sturdier feeling, stronger feeling steering control. So I'll turn it all the way up to five. If I'm in a parking lot and want it to be easier to steer, then I'll turn it down to a one. Uh, but that's a great feature. Again, another thing that just helps you drive and enjoy your coach. The coach is constantly monitoring the car in front of us, so it's going to let me know if I'm getting too close or if a car cuts in front of me and gets too close to us and gives me that distance. And you can adjust the distance of the adaptive cruise control too if you want it to be shorter, medium, or long. Another feature that I absolutely love is the power window. I know it's a small thing and I'm not going to demo for you right now um, because it's raining outside, but that's just really nice if you need to, you know, to talk to anyone at your window, pay a toll, um, you can do that universal toll module so you don't have to worry about that. But in case you do, it's very easy to use. Absolutely love driving the London Air. It's smooth, it's quiet. You know what, there's only one way for you to try to find out for yourself and that's to come out to National Indoor RV Centers and take one for a test drive so that we can put you in the right coach. At National Indoor RV Centers, we're really all about finding the right coach for you, not just putting you in something today. We want you to be happy with your purchase. We want you to enjoy your coach. We want you to come to our AIM rallies and really experience a great time with our customers, um, different areas of the country, and you know, traveling your coach to get to the different locations. That's what it's all about. Thank you so much for joining me today as I walk through this gorgeous 4551 Newmar London Air 2024. I'm sure you're wondering how much would this beautiful coach cost you? Well, current MSRP is $998,861. If you're wondering how much I can sell it to you for, make sure you give me a call at National Indoor RV Centers. And remember, with our volume and economies of scale, RVs simply cost less with NIRVC. And we make it so easy. So we can do the financing for you. You can finance this for 20 years. Um, we take in trades, we'll do consignments, 
We really try to make the buying experience as pleasurable and easy as possible because we want to get you in a coach now so you can start living your dreams. So don't delay. Make sure you give us a call. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe. Also check out my ceramic coat video, my paint and body video, and a retro band because we want you safe while you're enjoying this beautiful coach. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.